Trout Theater was, um, in its first incarnation, the Belmont Heights Baptist Church, built in the 40s. Um, it was a church for a long time. Um, as all churches do, they had moments where they were thriving and moments where they were not. Um, at one particular point, they sold the property to Belmont, and Belmont took over, although church still happens here every Sunday. Um, but in the process of taking it over, this auditorium became four floors of nursing. The nursing program used to be down here. And uh, once the nursing program moved up the hill to their new facility, they were feeling around in the drop ceiling and they discovered the chandelier was still hanging there. The original chandelier from 1940 of the Belmont Heights Baptist Church, which became the central design motif. But they wanted, to, President Fisher wanted a, a strong theater for the theater program, and so they reconverted this back to a theater space, made some alterations, obviously um, put the seating on an angle so the audience can see the stage, um, added a fly loft, everything from the Presidium March back to the Black Box Theater is all brand new construction. Everything from the Presidium March forward is original construction or uh, renovated construction from the days when it was a church, the Belmont Heights Baptist Church. It has been uh, the Trout Theater since um, 2007, uh, so we're on our 12th year in this space. And it stays busy probably 95% um, of the year. Well, it's a proscenium style theater, picture frames theater, so there's not a whole lot of those here in Nashville, um, especially at the collegiate level. It's a fairly new theater, it's about 12 years old, and the purpose of the theater, besides serving the Department of Theater and Dance and the School of Music, is um, outreach to nonprofit companies, other theater companies that we support and, are, and are our professional partners, like the Nashville Shakespeare Festival, etc. One of, the, uh, one of the beautiful aspects about the Trout, at least uh, for the Nashville Shakespeare Festival, is they do Shakespeare in the park. They don't own their own venue. So anywhere they go, they have to rent or they have to have a partnership like with Metro Parks in the summer. Well, doing Shakespeare in the park in the winter in Nashville is kind of difficult and a little cold. So in opening up our facility, this allows them to do a full Shakespeare production and specifically do it for the humanities outreach program for area schools. So they, most of their performances in the fall or in the, in the winter are for school kids in the area being bussed in to see Shakespeare, sometimes for the very first time on stage. It also gives them a theater that is built for scenery and lighting and has a lot of bells and whistles that the park doesn't have. I don't know the specifics, but there are Belmont students involved in every Shakespeare production, both the ones that occur here on campus in January, as well as the ones that occur in the summer in the park. Um, for example, this last summer in the park, we had a student on stage. We had several uh, students behind the scenes. It was uh, designed by a faculty member, set design-wise. It was designed or directed by a faculty member, uh, and it was produced by an alumni. There's always some heavy involvement of Belmont faculty, staff, and students in the Shakespeare productions. We have been associated on and off with the Shakespeare Festival for a long time as a designer in Nashville. I used to design a couple of times for them in the park when they were just doing park shows. When we came in here, they, um, we decided very early on that we wanted to partner with various professional companies. And Shakespeare and us, and I don't even remember who started the conversation, but we got together and thought this would be an ideal second stage for them for their season so they could do a winter show, a winter season. So that started in the second year of existence in the Trout Theater. They've been here ever since. Um, doing uh, eight performances a week for four weeks in January, bringing in school kids from all over the uh, state.